Today on Next Steps, we're asking the question, can you do faith alone? Hey there, I'm Elliot, one of the ministers at Swiss Cove Christian Church. Welcome to our channel, where our goal is to help you take your next step of faith. We really are in this together, and we hope you find this helpful. If you do, like and subscribe for more videos like this one. Gandhi said, I like your Christ. I do not like your Christians. Can you relate? I think we can all agree that sometimes people are just annoying. There's a running joke in church world that church would be great if, you know, not for the people. The problem is the church isn't a building. It's made up of people, but sometimes it's tempting to go off on our own little world and try to do faith on our own. I mean, all I need is me and Jesus, right? It sounds super spiritual, but unfortunately, it's not biblical. If we're going to model our spirituality after Jesus, which is a good idea if you want to be a Christian anyway, it's important to know what he actually did. Yes, Jesus spent time with God one-on-one. -on -one, that's true. And we encourage you to do that through daily devotions, reading your Bible and praying. And if you need help getting started on those things, we've got some links in the description below that will help you to get started. But Jesus didn't just do that. He also spent time with his disciples. And they were a group of 12 with whom Jesus spent the majority of his time. Now, this is why we would encourage you to get involved in a life group. Now, do you know how many people a life group has in it? You guessed it, 12. Just a random number we pulled out of the air or something like that. In a group that size, you can't fade into the background. Instead, you'll get to know people and be known by others who want to help you take your next step of faith. Jesus also spent time in crowds, both teaching them and in the synagogue. The modern day equivalent of that would be like coming to a church service. Let me put it this way. If Jesus didn't do faith alone, you shouldn't either. Now, we want to model our walk with God after Jesus's, and his walk was made up of three components. To review quickly, one-on-one, -on -one, group of 12, and synagogue. And our modern day equivalents would be as follows, daily devotions, life group, and church service. Now, I'm not bashing a spiritual retreat in the mountains. I'm not saying you shouldn't spend time in solitude. You should do both, but don't let that be the only thing you do. We think in order to have a healthy relationship with God, these three things should be present in your life. Remember this, you were never meant to do faith alone. Now, what do other people bring to your relationship with God? We want to hear from you. Just leave your thoughts in the comments below. You can catch up with me on social. I'd love to get to know you better. I hope this has been helpful. If you like this video, take a second and hit that thumbs up and don't forget to subscribe. Always remember, we love you, we're praying for you, and we're in this together. We'll see you next week.